thousand times. I sometimes talk about you in community calls. Hi, I'm Jess Klein, and on today's vidcast, I'm going to talk to you about some of my thinking around badges, assessment, and the often talked about but never before explained concept of Webmaker Plus. When we talk about the tools and resources that we are building on Mozilla, we often contextualize them as learning experiences. So, for example, you might go to webmaker.org, find a project, make and publish that project, and along the way, gain some basic HTML skills. However, in our current model, you could very well walk away after publishing your project and have no realization that you just learned something. And because of that, you might not be able to level up your tinkering to craftsmanship. This is the kind of design problem that badges are set up to solve. The openbadges.org site states that Learning today happens everywhere, but it's often difficult to get recognition for skills and achievements that happen online or out of school. Mozilla Open Badges helps solve that problem, making it easy for any organization to issue, manage, and display digital badges across the web. A practical, albeit simplified, example of a badge might be that you're working on a Thimble project and you create three, project, create three paragraphs completely on your own using correct syntax. You're then issued a HTML paragraph, paragraph maker badge. You can then add that badge to a badge backpack, a place to store and share your achievements. Here you will have the ability to also see a learning constellation slash trajectory map that will display for you based on the projects that you make and the badges that you've been awarded, a map of other things that you can do and make online to further develop, develop your skill set will basically be displayed. But let's take a step back, because I did just imply a few things when I gave the paragraph maker badge example. For starters, what I'm talking about with Thimble is what's called embedded assessment. Embedded assessment is any assessment given to a learner during their learning process. This kind of assessment gives both learners and the tool data in real time, which can be used to gauge and further support learning. Embedded assessments are different from typical assessments, such as quizzes or tests, um, because typical assessments focus mainly on what's, what a learner knows now, what a learner knows, whereas embedded assessments allow for tools, learners, and peers to gauge what learners um, know and how they use that knowledge in action in the exact moment that they're making the WebMaker project, for example. So what would that look like for Mozilla, practically speaking? I started brainstorming a bit this week using Thimble as a place to prototype some badge-related interaction. First, I just started to imagine the badges appearing as you accomplish various things. Taking a cue from the Chivo system, I would, it would look something like this. The problem here is that the badge is super intrusive and could be disruptive to the learner's experience. Additionally, some users might not want to be badged and it could affect their entire experience with the tool. However, what does work well here is the actual ingredients displayed in the badge. So you have the badge graphic and description, and then the ability to push your badge directly to your badge backpack. My second iteration here is kind of like a pop-up. So imagine the orange tab subtly popping up almost as if it's coming out of the toolbar. You then have the ability to transition to the next slide where you can add the badge to your backpack and share via social media. My concern here is that this might, in fact, be too subtle. However, it does, um, if done correctly, it could potentially be a place where we could give the user some friendly feedback messages in addition to badges, although that gets into the gray territory of Clippy. The third iteration here employs an icon in the toolbar that wiggles when you receive badges. When you click the icon, you can see the actual badge which if you have more than one badge to view will act kind of like a slideshow. So you can progress through to see all your different badges and then also add them to your backpacks and share accordingly. As I made those three interaction, um, iterations I just showed you, it occurred to me that at some point the user is going to have to sign into a system like browser ID to get badges. 
um, and add them to, not to get the badges so much as adding them to the backpack. This would mean a lot of additional clicking while they're in the middle of a web making experience. A user could essentially sign into the system on the webmaker site and then it would work across all properties, but then that would be irritating um, to bounce around. So then I started thinking about something that could sit across all of our webmaker properties that would allow a user to sign into the system, opt into getting awarded badges, and offer them embedded assessment and potentially access um, to a community of peers. Enter what Chloe and I call Webmaker Plus. I've affectionately named this based on my love of the Nike Plus system. As you see here, we could add a nav bar that gives a user the ability to opt into the community. Once they join, they are essentially signing in to be part of the game. It then becomes almost like an exclusive layer that sits on top of the software, which by, um, by the way could be Thimble and Popcorn, but also community design tools potentially. I then drew the badge here to actually reflect data that is unique to the user. So for example, if they indicated that they were trying to achieve a goal of learning HTML and earning the, um, and they, they want to learn HTML, but they also want to earn that HTML basics badge, then the badge could reflect their progress um, in, in achieving that badge as well. The Webmaker Plus would in fact turn, in effect, turn the user's badge backpack page into a personal dashboard, as you can see here, where they could see their progress, but also control it. So they get, can set goals, join challenges, and add badges. This obviously needs some more thinking, but I just wanted to capture some initial ideas and get feedback. In terms of actual implementation, we aren't going to strive to produce Webmaker Plus by the end of the summer, but what we can do is prototype a few strategic interactions just to see if they're feasible. If we plan it correctly, we could scaffold a release cycle that slowly deploys something potentially as impactful as the Webmaker Plus concept. Um, so I look forward to your feedback. Please feel free to drop um, comments, suggestions onto the blog. I've also provided some links below of various other um, blog posts by Chloe Verlitty and myself um, on badges and, and the um, specific badge systems that we are considering for Mozilla. So um, thanks for listening and I'll hope to be posting soon.